Hello there, this is Cookies. I've got turn 32 of EA Satis. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So we have a fight in Apernia against a little bit of PD. And then there's a battle in Packwoods, which I think is also a little bit of PD. But eight guys died, so let's go ahead and check that out, see what happened to them. So we have a communion in this group. And uh, we can already hear the gifts from heaven that are uh, probably responsible for those eight guys dying. Again, I see no pearl. Oh, one pearl. Okay, so that's good to know. So, two, okay, so we had a few guys die from that. Or, I guess they did. Alright, so they breach Apernia, and we get the Red Raptors. So, and here is where I make a decision. Um, let's see, we did... I decide to launch a Doolittle raid. And... <laughs> and I make an Animal Farm reference. Okay. So, here's the plan. And this is coming out of a place of ignorance that um, I'll be sending a message about next turn, but I can go ahead and talk about it this turn. So, um, I've never been besieged with an immobile pretender before. <laughs> so, and I will eventually figure out that... Uh, I cannot break Siege with an Immobile Pretender. So I'm going to make a, a key mistake here. Now, and this was out of a different concern. So when you have uh, a, a large number of mages that you're risking, it to me, it made sense that, all right, I've got all these Death Mages. What I want them to do is HP route into the fort when the PD dies and when their skeletons are killed. And to get that HP route, my god has to not show up. He has to not be in the battle. Because his thousand hit points are going to forever anchor the HP for the whole army. So to get all these mages to properly retreat, I need, I need them to HP route. And I even kept out the mages with higher HP. So the idea was, I'm going to use my 40 PD here. I'm going to use a good chunk of my army. I'm going to do a big Foul Vapors trap. Now, I was doing this under the assumption that if I lost this battle, I could immediately break Siege with my god and my remaining mages and whoever escaped, and I could potentially win that battle, and then I'd be fine. I'd get to potentially even re do a second Foul Vapors trap. But this was all um, under the assumption that because this guy can patrol... He can also break siege, and he can, and immobile pretenders cannot break siege. It is something that I found out. And in all the thousands of hours of Dominions that I've played, I've just never been in a situation where I've had an immobile pretender under siege in a fort where I wanted to break siege. <laughs> so it's unfortunate, but it, it it's why I end up making the decisions that I do on this particular turn. So I think it's important to talk about. All right, so we're patrolling with these guys. Now, previously, when Marverni was rotating around and they had their big fight with Yomi, at the last second, Marverni altered their formation to be able to handle the Tengu that Yomi had. So I assumed that he would do the same thing here if he happened to fight me. Also, I was assuming that he wasn't going to fight me. He has this fort. If he takes it, he has a base of operations. So what I thought would happen is the, like this company would come over here, potentially kill these barbarians. This group would probably come here and just patrol, and this group would take this fort. Now you have a base of operations. You can bring out a new group over here, and then you can send all the combined forces onto my cap at once. That's what I assumed would happen. Uh, we'll see next turn what actually happens. 
But under those assumptions, uh, so it's a lot of assumptions. Um, but under those assumptions, I made a couple of choices. I decided I would raid out using my mercenaries. So here, I sent my new twice-born guy and a number of Marakata archers. So the twice-born guy will create some skeletons. And I misplaced him. He was supposed to be up here. But I must have screwed up that order. So the idea was he would make some skeletons to cover for the Marakata. And this would be a raid probably against just a few PD. If any army showed up, the Marakata would probably die. The Reborn might die, but he's twice born and I'll get him back. Additionally, I would launch a raid here. And this is what I was referring to as the little do little raid. Probably because Marverni wouldn't be expecting this. But I would send these guys on a hold and attack rear. And see if I can knock off the PD by killing the commander on this fort. And maybe I can trace some extra income this way. So that was the idea here. It would also shut down the production on this fort. So uh, other places I debated were here, here, and here. But none of these had great income. I have got my dominion in all of them. So I decided this would be a good place. Because by this point in the game, some of the episodes have been airing. So I know that there's a lot of people living here and this province has a good income. So that's kind of like, that's what all the decision making that went into this uh, turn, like what it was, at least on my end. So hopefully uh, when we see what happens next turn, it'll all make more sense. So, all right. I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and see you in turn 33. Have a good one.